Hello, people. How are you? My name's Kev. This is Angling and Anxiety. It's all about the angling. It's about the anxiety. Alright, welcome back today. We've got Charlie in the room. <laughs> We've got 80 kilo of herrings, a wheelie bin, some holy mackerel and some sardine oil. And basically what I'm going to show you how to do is a beginner's guide to making chum from beginners. So we're just going to have a go. We're going to see how we get on. Yeah. Right, so this is how we're beginning. We're having a go. What we're going to do is first, Chuck some fish in in the in the wheelie bin. So that be the idea. It's a nice size there, and fresh today. Properly scaly. So no PB for me that one. Oh, get them in there. They're slippery and slippery. And then get a few in there. Good five kilo or something. And then we're going to take the shovel to. We're going to add a bit of oil. Quite a slippery, isn't it? It's a proper slippery, man. I've only been out of water a couple of hours. Have I? Yeah. Is there water anymore? No, no water. There's a white, look. There's a white, look. There's a white, isn't it? There's a white. Yeah, there's a white. We've been done. There's a white in here. <laughs> I can't get rid of it anyway, I don't know where you go, you get smuggling wine. Right, that'll do us for a minute, Charlie. As you can see, Charlie's wearing appropriate clothing. I'm not. <laughs> a little bit of holy mackerel wool. Gonna dash that through evenly. Get the shovel in there. And basically, chop them up. <laughs> I'll show you how it's looking. Lovely. Do a little bit of fast forward in there. Charles has broke it to us, he's actually got a mince us, so now we are innovators in the game, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, it's just chewing it up. Happy days, happy days. people now we've come up with another idea. The grinder took us quite a while but now we're going to try the mixing grill. Mixing drill sorry. 
plaster and mixing drill. And we're going to see how this gets on. Well, so, it's just a fucking is <laughs> Well, it's going to hit us in the face. Well, any other, mate, this is innovation. We're, we're triers at the end of the day. We're beginners having a go. We don't know how it goes. <laughs> Start spinning her up. Yeah, good old wheel. Put some nice in it or something. That cuts around. Don't put some nice to it. Put some nice in it or something. Um, I reckon it could go though. I reckon. Just spinning and it's sliding in and out. Why is it not really fast? It's up. Uh, where's that? It's, like it's fast or it's down and all the sliding. That style. How old are you? Under a night. Well, we've turned it down. That's what. No. I've turned it both ways. I don't like fish. I think it's had it. That's it. Is that as far as it goes? Yeah, I think it's a spot. There you go. You keep spinning on it. Careful with your fingers, but I don't cut them off. I think it's worth cutting them up first, then spinning them. You know what I mean? Spinning the mush, the smaller bits. This is brilliant. Take mine out of the wine work, help me. Charlie's doing that. I'm going to show you another little special ingredient I've been told to add up to the collection. And that is halibut pellet. Some of you might not have done this, some of you may have done. But I've seen the evidence of the, the chum that the man uses. And it works. So. You can all moan and you can all say it don't work, but believe me, I've seen the evidence it works. Whether this drill works or not, I don't have a question. But, I don't think it's <laughs> nah, I don't think it is. I wonder if we could put, have you got a knife? We've got a knife at the bottom with some cable fires on it. I'm just feeling one of them spin around the off here today. Spin her off, spin her off. Can't be wasted that precious chum. I think if we cable tie a knife to the bottom of it. It would work. It would work. Then you could tie something to it though. I think I've got or even the trowel. I'm going to cut my front of the knife if I go and grab a knife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a knife somewhere. Well, we'll bring it back. <laughs> 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 that? <laughs> that was a plastering drill with a, with a trowel attached to it. But it did chop it up. It did. It did chop it, it up. It worked a bit. It worked a bit. This is a long process, people. We've, we've, put, we've put about 20 fish in there, we've only got another 890 to go.
Right, we're getting there people. Well, we're not getting there. We know when they're getting there, but we're getting a good mix. Still got loads of fish, loads of brown. Now if we do it in a brown, um, just want to make sure that we've got a good consistency of oil and meat and whatnot. Yeah, it's getting there, as you can see. Still a little bit lumpy at the minute. We've used the grinder, as you see. We've got a little fish head, it's gone there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're learning as we go, but we're getting a good consistency. I have seen chum, I've obviously caught sharks and whatnot, and I know what it looks like, so yeah, we're getting a good consistency. Taking us a while, we're going to be here another couple of hours while it looks a bit, but at the end of the day, we put the work in there, fish should come. Hello. Right, we really are starting to make progress here. We can almost see the bottom. Almost. Got a fair old lump in there now. Still a bit bitty. Not used that much brown, but we don't want to be uh, wasting the. Basically, we want it to be proper. And I've been told don't overdo it on the brown, so I'm not going to overdo it on the brown. Um, <clears throat> still got a fair bit of juice off the bottle, so about two and a half litres of uh, sardine oil to go in. But yeah, as you can see, the bottom is near. It's hard work. I'm sweating. Absolutely sweating. Charles, you can see. <laughs> He's sweating. <laughs> Charles got his way down to dig some worms out there. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're getting there. We are getting there. On the plus side, this ferret really likes fish. <laughs> and a little one, you want a bit? A bit? There we go. Off he goes, look. See you later, mate. <laughs> yeah, we'll get there. Slowly but surely, we will get there. Right, so we're gonna wrap up what we got. Start again, because at the minute, it's hard to mash the fish up with a shovel. As you can see, I'm sweating, Charles sweating. Um, yeah, we're gonna mash it. I'll get it into wraps, into rolls in the bags. Chuck them in the freezer, start again with the rest of what we've got left. Got a reasonable consistency here. It's a few slightly bigger bits, but nothing massive. Um, Pretty happy with it to be honest with you. And we've got that to do. So yeah. There's probably some sharp fishermen who are really prize it here to think, what have you done? But I don't know, I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with the consistency of it. Um a lot of say there's a few bigger fish in there. Get rid of that, put it in a bigger one. But yeah, um happy days. Well so now we're in the bagging up process. Um basically we're gonna get into sausages, get it into the bag. Roll them up into a sort of sausages about that big, and then freeze them. Um, I'm gonna start the whole process again. So, we'll see how we get on with it. Yeah, still a fair way to go, but I reckon in another hour we should be done. Fingers crossed and all that. See how we get them. He's frozen. 
Get a real break. Apparently it takes a few days for it to uh, freeze up because of the oil and stuff in it. So, yeah, can't see me, can you? Yeah, we're gonna crack on, get the rest of the fish in. Go again. We're going to go ahead and take all the last run. I think we've been going for quarter past ten, we've been going for about, know, about two hours now. The old grass. But the tray is empty. you don't know you get bran I didn't know but you get bran from uh, pool shops like farm shops big bag of it 20 quid you know? yeah happy days still got wet chuck a few handfuls of bran in it Got to be careful not to have it too stodgy, but not too too uh, juicy because you just lose all your gear. It all just seep out, and it ain't cheap. Cheap in labour, or cheap in money. Um, yeah, it's good consistency. This one's probably got a bit more oil in it. To be fair. Um, yeah. Chucked a load more in it, grab what was left. So, yeah, this one's a really oily, oily mix. Add a few white in the mix, like you saw. But yeah, cut a week, literally two weeks' time. What's the date today? Any idea? So, um, I don't have a clue, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. Um, yeah, basically, la, 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 the, se the 2nd and the 3rd of April, me and Charles are going to do Drive and Survive Part 2 with two days Paul Beagle fishing in the mix of it. Charles never been to Cornwall, so another person I'll be introducing to Cornwall. Um, yeah, buzzing for it to be honest with you. I'm going to return to Paul Ferris. Um, do some beach fishing, catch Charlie's first rest. Yeah, the rest before. No, I had yeah, not. first rest. Um, hopefully, anyway. I've had a conga now, thanks to you, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a conga now. Um, then two days, poor beagle fishing. At St. Ives in Cornwall. With a very good skip, I see I'm not of it. Managed to jump in on a cancellation, so that's double handy. But yeah. Should be good, man. Just gonna survive on what we eat. I ain't got Nick to cook with me this time, so I'm gonna have to do a lot more cooking myself. But I'm sure we'll survive. Oh, bad job. It's a lovely consistency. So just getting in there. Final one. We're going to have to do this all over again. We've done 80 kilo today. Um, we'll do another 80 kilo. Might be the last time, mate. <laughs> yeah, because we don't want to run out. And we've got these herons at £1.50 a kilo. Um, and apparently, they go up to as much as 6 7 8 quid. So, yeah. We've got to make sure we're stopped up now rather than when they go up. Got the chest freezer. I've got another chest freezer coming off Will Parkinson. Um, the guy from Navionics. Smart fishing. Um, got a lot of sponsors. Well, we're now an angler. Um, he's helping me out in this, giving me a free freezer, which is double added. So if you're watching Will, which I doubt you might be, but if you are, thank you very much, mate. You're a legend. Another guy is very helpful for tips. 
Doing a bit of networking, really trying to get myself out. Because um, if there's a man that knows how to catch the fresh sharks, why not come? He sort of told me there's half a chance I could go out of him, so fingers nice crossed. Uh, they, yeah, nice consistency in this. Let's see. I'm going to get a bit further in the pot. See if I take that light off quick. There we go. Up. A little bit more, so we're going to have a little bit more brown in that in a minute. I'll <coughs> start with the brown. Some more? Some more. That'll do, I think. I don't want it too soggy. Yeah, happy days. Um, yeah, just can't wait to get out now. To be honest with you, I really can't wait. So yeah, if you're a beginner and you want to start making chum, this is a beginner's guide by beginners. So I've obviously done a lot of research. I spoke to a lot of people um, who know what they're up to, and this is how we've been told to do it. So this is how we've done it. Um, so fingers crossed, it does a business. But yeah, happy days. Gonna wrap this up now, call it a day, get it wrapped up, and uh, get myself home because it's late. But yeah, thanks for watching. Next video, I might be going out the weekend catching some skate and stuff, might do a bit of beach fishing. If weather is perfect for the boat, but I'm trying to keep it out of the water for the time being, or well, not out of the water, but trying to keep off of it. Um, <clears throat> because I want to make sure this is crusty for Cornwall, I don't want to waste any chances. So yeah, happy days, probably will go out of the boat, I know what I'm like. Either way, I'll be fishing on Sunday. And then the next video after that, Lime and Survive Part 2. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, please, if you can be bothered. I will never beg. Um, happy days. Much love to you all. Thank you very much. Go check out the Facebook page and the Instagram page. <coughs> yeah. Lovely. Happy days.